third time filming this video. Come on. Hey there guys, it's Nina here. Hope everyone is good. And first of all, I just want to apologise if there are some loud background noises. That is because it is currently 1 million degrees here in the UK. Like, I'm not even joking you. I honestly feel like I'm in the Sahara Desert. It's so hot and apologies if I have to stop the video at numerous amounts of times to have some of my ice lolly because it is, it is hella hot out here. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna talk about something that a lot of people have asked me to talk about and make a video about. I've had a lot of people DMing me and tweeting me and just generally commenting on my videos, asking me um, like how I'm learning Korean or for any updates or for any advice and I have messaged a few people but I thought hey it'll probably be a bit easier if I do a video so I can speak to the messes and just tell them what I've been up to. Okay so the first question I always get which I might as well answer in this video because every single person asks, asks me this question and that is why? Why are you learning Korean? Why do you want to learn Korean? And people always give me a really strange look. My personal reasons why I started learning Korean was because um, obviously <laughs> most of you may know um, I am a big fan of K-pop um, but it's not just because of K-pop I know a lot of people like a lot of people think that's probably not a good enough reason to start learning a language I don't know really but um, Personally, I am a really big fan of Korean culture. Um, I love watching Korean dramas, um, eating Korean food, <laughs> listening to Korean music, and just like culture and stuff. And the whole country and the language really intrigued me. So um, initially, I just kind of wanted to learn like some little basic words and things like that. But then I ended up just realizing, hey, I think this language is pretty awesome and I would actually really like to become fluent at a language because I'm not barely even fluent in English. So I was like, hey, let's try this. Let's give it a go and let's see if I enjoy it. And I still enjoy it. So yeah, that is why I'm learning Korean. I just wanted to start off with talking about the resources that I have been using to learn Korean. And there's quite a few resources. So um, as well as using apps on my phone, I've been using websites, I've been using um, books and loads of other stuff. So I'm just gonna do a rundown and literally talk about every single thing that I've been using. And I hope this video is not too long. I'll try and uh, keep it quite short and to the point with all of the things I've been using. Okay, so this may be the part that some of you may not want to hear. Why am I clapping? I don't know. The hard truth, the hard, hard, hard truth of beginning from nothing to learn Korean is that you have to, have to, have to learn Hangul. <laughs> like, it's not even an option. Like, if you don't learn Hangul, you might as well not bother learning Korean. And that is the beginning step. That is the first step. Of learning Korean it is actually a lot easier than you may think like a lot of people when they think of like Asian languages in their mind they're thinking of like Chinese and Japanese which are like much 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 harder but Korean is actually a lot less harder than those languages the first thing that I will recommend is learn Korean with go Billy Korean I think that's what it's called um, and there's a video called something along the lines of like learn Hangul in like 90 minutes I genuinely promise you, if you watch that whole video, take it in and practice and write notes, you will have mastered Hangul in less than two hours. That's what I used, that's what helped me. So yeah, I'll leave the link to it down there. Okay, so I thought I would start off with the apps I have been using and um, I thought I'd recommend some apps for you guys. And the first app I'm gonna talk about is called Memrise. Now, Memrise is a great, great app um it's just really good at teaching you like it gives you it teaches you in so many ways it kind of like embeds it in your mind so it will start off with a word and it will keep drilling that word into you but not only does it give you the word it also makes you spell it so like it will teach you the word teach you the pronunciation and then you have to type it out yourself so you will get used to um the characters and how they sound um 
so it is like it's it's a really good app uh, personally I have the premium version I only pay about I think it's about six pound fifty a month and I would highly 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 recommend it um, it's not too big of an investment it's cheaper than Netflix so I'm sure if you really want to learn you can spare six pound a month hopefully okay so the next app that I have used uh, to help me learn Korean is an app called drops uh, now drops is quite a good little app it's quite fun it's like a little game you like like have to swipe things up and all this stuff um, it's quite fun I've only ever used the free version free version gives you about five minutes a day um, so you can only use it five minutes a day they do have a premium version which you can pay for um, Personally, I do think it is a good app, so if you do like the free version, um, feel free to try it out, see if you like it, but it is quite fun, and also I have an Apple Watch, um, which you can see here, and it does have an Apple Watch version of the app, um, which sometimes when I'm places where I can't use my phone, like for example at work, don't tell anyone, um, sometimes I'll just be like sat in the break room or like in my staff room, just like using the app to just practice a couple of little words so i would recommend it it is quite a good app as well okay so the next app is a very 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 well known one and that is duolingo now duolingo the way in which they teach you i just don't understand like i just don't understand so they do try to teach you hangul in it so you can kind of be a beginner and use it but like it like teaches you like all the characters and then it just throws you in the deep end and starts giving you words and phrases and I was like and keep in mind I went into using Duolingo like after learning Korean for a couple of months so I already knew a decent amount and I was like looking at this app like what the heck if you like it you can try it but I personally wouldn't recommend Duolingo um, only because it's a little bit difficult to use so maybe if you're an intermediate maybe it might be easier for you but personally for a beginner uh, which I am and if anyone is watching this video you will probably be a beginner too um, I would probably give that one a pass another one which is a really fun little app um, is an app that I just downloaded recently and it's called Egg Bun um, I saw someone using it on Twitter and I was like let me just give it a try um, it's a really cute little app and it's kind of like teach it basically teaches you as if like you're messaging a friend so the app like I think I can't remember what the person's called like I think he was called like Lanny or something like that and you like speak to him and he like teaches you like words and sentences and then you like repeat them so it's quite a fun little app um it's it's very visual it's quite colorful it's very like kawaii um so if you're into that you might like it and the last one for apps is an app called hello talk um, yeah, Hello Talk is quite an infamous app. A lot of people do know it. It has somewhat of a negative um, reputation, but I have not had any problems with it. So I don't, I don't really know um, what everyone else has gone through. But personally, I think it's really great. It's really helpful. And basically, on Hello Talk, you make a profile. You say the language that you are fluent in, so your uh, mother tongue. And then you put in the language that you are learning and then they like connect you with people who are fluent or um, yeah fluent in the language that you are trying to learn and they are trying to learn your language so basically it's a language exchange app you can like put little statuses up there people can correct your statuses you could literally like message people it's got its own messaging app and it's pretty awesome like i had a really lovely lady in uh, busan in korea um message me and just ask me she literally just started messaging and was like hi how are you um and just asking me about stuff and it was really awesome and um she's really cool we both like harry potter so we've been talking about harry potter so i highly recommend it um i've had no problems with it but be careful on it because um there is an option to have your like location on so that people can see exactly where you are which i would suggest not to do because it's the internet and people are creepy so don't do that so moving on from apps i will now talk to you about some of the websites i've been using to learn korean so one of them is a repeat and that is memorize so memorize has an app but they also have a website and the website is actually pretty amazing because it just has a little bit more options sometimes when i'm at home i'll just like go on the memorize website because sometimes it's just a little bit more better than being on your phone but another one that i have not mentioned it and this has actually been 
my number one resource in learning Korean and a lot of people might have heard of this it's pretty well known talk to me in Korean dot com talk to me in Korean dot com is like the best website ever made in the entire world for learning Korean it's completely free and they have like a full curriculum so you start off from curriculum one lesson number one and it literally teaches you like hello and goodbye but with all of the lessons they have a podcast and I love the people doing the podcast they're so funny every single episode has a PDF I would highly recommend using it like anyone that's learning Korean go on talk to me in korean.com they have so much on there so much on there and um, that very nicely brings me on to my next part of uh, my resources I've been using and those are books now I personally am not a reader I'm not a, a person that can learn very well from reading I'm a very visual learner I need videos I need bright things I need like colorful things that like attract me in but I have bought a few books to help me now as I mentioned I was using talk to me in Korean they have workbooks that go along with the curriculum and all the lessons that they have on their website so I'll show you the books that I have so I've just got a couple of books obviously I am a beginner in Korean Do you know what? I don't even think I mentioned when I started learning Korean but I started properly learning Korean um, in about January of this year so we are in July so I would say nearly seven months so yeah more than half of a year I've been learning Korean Anyway, so I'm still on level one because I've been progressing quite slowly. Um, I work full time, so it's hard to get the time in. But recently I've been really cracking down. But I've got these two books. So these are the Talk To Me In Korean workbooks. And I have the level one workbook and the level two workbook. I'll show you like some of the first pages. So essentially, like everything that they've taught you in the lesson, they then have inside the book. So this is the first page and this is literally teaching you hello and goodbye. They really, really, really are trying to like ingrain the spellings of things into you and uh, the way that you write it out. Um, I highly recommend this book and all the workbooks. Um, yeah, I've just started level two, so I can't really comment on how well I'm doing on it because I've literally just started it. Um, but it is a really great aid to the podcast and the website. And I did purchase one more book. Uh, and this book that I also have is uh, Korean Made Simple. And this is by um, Go Billy Korean. So the uh, one I was mentioning earlier uh, with the YouTube video that helps teach you Hangul. It's quite a beefy book though. Yeah, the only thing with this one is that it's not as easy to carry around as the Talk To Me In Korean ones, which I literally have in my bag every single day at YouTube. Yes, so I absolutely love using YouTube for educational purposes as well as obviously watching a million people's vlogs and BTS music videos and interviews and all that other stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a lot of great YouTubers out there that help teach you Korean, which is awesome. Um, there are a lot that I recommend. That's of all some that I've previously mentioned, so Talk To Me In Korean has a YouTube channel. Another YouTube channel I recommend, which is a bit of like a, not necessarily it doesn't necessarily like teach you teach you but it's really entertaining and you do learn a bit from it and i'm talking about jolly now jolly is uh run by these two english books uh called josh and ollie and basically josh is like fluent at korean and ollie is like not fluent um and then like he like teaches him it's like it's really it's really funny but they actually use the talk to me in korean workbooks and you actually learn from watching them and they're really funny and they really love korean culture and everything so i really recommend them they're like awesome next someone i absolutely love oh my god i love her so much uh, her name is korean anni and uh, Korean Ani is supposed to be like your Korean older sister and um, she kind of does feel like my older sister even though I'm pretty sure she's probably younger than me because I am very old but yeah she like properly teaches you Korean like teaches you in a way where like she's teaching you everything but like breaks it down like down down she did one where she did like a karaoke version um, of uh, Spring Day by BTS but like as she was doing each line of the karaoke she like broke it down word by word and translated it and it was just it's, it was so helpful and there is one last youtuber i would like to recommend and her name is natalia gaza i think it i think that is correct i hope it is she's pretty awesome i found her because uh how did i find her i think she had a video to do with bts and 
you know I'm obsessed. She basically like translates words and important like verbs and phrases from like BTS songs and things like that and then she like translates them to English which I think is really helpful um, and she does like these videos where it's like study with me I think it's really like therapeutic like the other day she literally did a video where it was like just like 40 minutes long of literally just her like in a cafe just learning Korean with like no background music no edits like literally just her learning and I was like it's just chill to have like next to you while you're literally sat there like learning Yes, so I highly, highly recommend that if you are beginning to learn Korean, that you buy notebooks, as many of them as you need. Um, I have gone through so many notebooks because I just haven't found the perfect one until now. But I got a book that was very reminiscent of what I used to have in school. I got one of these, like, books that are, like, the lined ones that I used to have in school, like that. Um, this one I got from Tiger and it was like £2, so it was really super duper cheap. I've just been putting little notes down, they're a little bit helpful. I personally really like my little title page that I did, I'm so unartistic, um, but I actually put a little bit of effort in, a little bit of effort. I put a little Korean flag in it. And I said, let's learn Korean. But I literally have like a mini page at the beginning where I just put um, all the alphabet. So like Hangul and the vowels and the consonants. Well, I know them already, but I don't know. Maybe one day I might just forget everything. So I have them there just in case. This is from lesson one of Talk To Me In Korean and it's just hello and thank you, which is 안녕하세요 and 감사합니다. 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 안녕하세요. And like another thing I added in also um, that would help me learn was using pictures so I decided to print off pictures from the computer obviously from the internet and stick them in and then write over them in the book and I decided to make a what's on Yungi's face uh, chart and it actually is really helpful because it's a full picture of his face where you could see everything perfectly and I just made little notes um, about where things are so for example I pointed to his forehead and I said Ima to probably remember all of these i can't remember them but whenever i forget them i just look at yungi's face and then i remember everything i forgot to mention something that has been absolutely awesome and i would highly 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 recommend this and that is going to language exchanges yes language exchanges and do you know what that means that means leaving your house and meeting with strangers now i went to my first exchange last week and when I tell you how nervous I was, I walked past the entrance three times, three times, because I was so scared to go in. I felt so anxious to meet strangers, and I was honestly terrified. Um, but I bit the bullet and I went inside and I had an amazing, amazing time. The place that I found the language exchange was meetup.com, which when I first heard of this website, I was like, I don't know, it sounds a bit dodgy. <laughs> like I felt, I thought it was like a dating website or something. Um, but no, there was like loads of people that knew about it. So if any of you are from London, you could sign up for the language exchange and I could meet you. Hopefully we could be partnered up and we could help each other learn. Um, but after the language exchange in London, they have a um, like a little party thing. They actually have a specific club that they always have it in. And it's just like drinks and you get to mingle with people. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Like I highly, highly, highly recommend it because no matter how hard you study and how much Korean you learn, you're not going to get better at it unless you actually speak to real Korean people. So yeah, it's quite daunting at the beginning and I get really, really, really terrified speaking Korean um, to Korean people. I don't know why, it just really scares me. And everyone was really lovely. So yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really, really hope it was, hope it was helpful. Um, I apologise for banging on for so long so long clearly i'm very passionate about learning korean and um i've been using so much resources by the way did everyone enjoy my korean t-shirt today this is what it looks like and it actually says let's drink coca-cola which is actually my favorite drink of all time and guess who are the ambassadors of coca-cola my boys my bang tan son and dan please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it but if you really really loved it please subscribe to my channel um if you loved it then i love you sarangio sarangio 
Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Annyeong! Bye!